quick video to show you guys um, how to load DTMs from uh, Rosemount into Pactware. Um, it can be kind of confusing, um, but if you're looking for a way to operate with uh, Rosemount um, devices and you have a heart modem, one of, <clears throat> one of the best things you can do is download Pactware. Come over here, uh, it's Pactware.com. And then when you go to the Pactware page, um, you can see that there's tons of free of charge Pactware downloads. Uh, Bop and Ruther, Christian Burkhardt, Crony, Pepperell and Fuchs, all of these guys offer their their different version of Pactware um, with their DTMs and stuff for free. The one that I download is the Crony just because it tends to be the closest to vanilla, if you will, just, just straight up packed where it doesn't come with anything other than a heart driver. One of the things you want to do, however, um, is at the same time you're grabbing that, go ahead and pop over to icsgmbh.de. You can go ahead and translate that if you're using Google Chrome uh, browser. It does a pretty good job. It is a German website. Um, you want to go to the download page, go to Pactware 4.1, and then scroll down to the bottom here, you can see they have the load and test uh, heart driver device type manager. They, this is the generic heart DTM. It's actually really good one. You're gonna wanna get that. You're also gonna wanna get the heart comm DTM for Pactware. Uh, this is, comes from Code Rights. It's a little bit nicer than the one that tends to come with Pactware uh, bundles. So we'll pop over here to uh, Windows and those installs are really basic installs. Just install Pactware, then install the other two files. You just simply go into your into your documents, you know, go to the go to the, the folder, wherever those things are, right, in my downloads. You just click on the installer and install it. It's very simple. Once all that's all installed, um, when you open up Pactware, you should notice that you have a device catalog. You can find it right here. You open your device catalog. If nothing's popular, go ahead and hit update device catalog. Go ahead and create a new one. That'll that will load. I do have a bunch of stuff in here from Bedrock. Um, don't pay attention to any of that stuff. Um, what you're looking for is this code rights driver, right? This one will probably, the heart modem will probably already be there. The heart communication is the simpler, easier one from ICS. And then you'll have this ICS uh, generic heart DTM6. Okay, once you have those things kind of in your, in your device catalog, the next thing you can do is go to your downloaded DTM from Rosemount. You can get these off the Emerson website. You're gonna have to dig. I don't remember where I found them from. I downloaded them several uh, several months ago. Um, it's been quite a while. But if you go to your wherever you have your Rosemount documents, okay, I've got these 2088 pressure transmitter DTMs. Go in here. Just install it the same way you would any other piece of, of software onto Windows. Boom, accept terms, next, next, go ahead and do a complete install. Finish. Go back to our DTM catalog here, or to our device catalog here in Pactware, and we'll update the device catalog. Yes. Boom, and there we can see we've got the 2088B 10.02. And that will allow you to, first of all, come here, add a device. You, gotta, you need to add a COM, a heart modem. So we're gonna add the heart communication here. Once you have that up, you can go into your parameters for the comm device 
and set up the interface if you want it to be a modem, multiplex, however you want to do it, where your serial interface is located, COM1, COM2, primary, master, secondary, master, however you want to do your communication. You just set that right up in your, in your communication driver and then you can connect it. Obviously mine's not going to because I'm not connected to a device. Um, it's giving me errors. But, yes. But, once you do that, um, you'll be connected to the, to the modem. Then you add, no. Then we're going to add another device. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to add another device. And we're going to add our rose mount device right to the and we're going to attach that right underneath our heart modem here. And then as you can see, we can also set parameters for this. If we want to, we can set tag, what the polling address is, all these different things. And then your offline parameters, as you can see, right? Because again, I'm offline. Uh, I'm not connected to a device, so I can only see a limited amount. Um, there are other DTMs. Uh, let's delete this one out. Yes. Let's add another one. Do, 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 do. I'm going to rose mount. This one's got a lot more parameters, I believe I can see uh, offline. So if I open this up, my offline parameter. No, it doesn't. Um, but if we go to my properties, you can see it's the actual rose mount DTM. You can do some parameterization and some configuration offline, so that when you go online, it uh, it knows what it's connecting to. You know, this is uh, it's very basic. It's very simple. It's all of the same options that you get if you connect using a 475 or uh, you know uh, using a DD. So, um, anyway, just uh, hope this helps someone to uh, get connected to a Rosemount device in the field, and maybe um, maybe it's something we can talk about more during uh, during our synergy classes.